Hey guys, Matt here with another Hoondegni video analysis. Today we're going to be going over the last video in the 1.x series, or at least the presumably last video of the 1.x series, uh, of Hoondegni underscore 1.5. This video was previously, we couldn't find it, and that is because it is, as you can see, an unlisted video. You can only see it if you have the link, which briefly appeared at the end of 2.5. Three. So since it did appear at the end of that video, that leads me to believe that we are meant to watch this directly after 2.3. They have to be correlated in some manner or another. So I'm going to go ahead and play some of this and uh, we'll talk a bit about what we're seeing. Before we go any farther, uh, we should point out exactly what's going on on the screen right now. There does seem to be a lot of uh, dead plants, you see dead grass, some of it is alive, uh, but overall uh, it's very brown, uh, there's not much life in this uh, video. And originally when I watched this, I was like, this seems very familiar. And so I had to go back and uh, in video 1.3, interestingly enough, um, there actually is a very close correlation here, and I'll go ahead and play it really fast. So I have this on mute, but as you can see, the camera is even moving in a similar way. It's going towards the right, except this time you have all these large plants sticking up from the ground, all of them very much green. And if we go back here, you can see very similar plants that are sticking about up at the same height, but now they're all dead. I'm going to play a bit more of this one, but I think you get the overall feel here that there is a similarity. You have this burnt palette or at least this burnt uh, piece of wood that definitely seems to look like a pallet. We kind of talked about this uh, for a few weeks, actually, because we weren't sure exactly what this was. But um, we came to the conclusion that this piece of wood sitting here, um, or at least what we believe to be wood, seems to be a pallet of some kind. But it uh, is either buried or burnt. We can't quite tell. Um, the dead grass around this area seems to hint at that. So you notice how it's all very dead around this region, how it's a, a clearing of sorts. And see now if we were to head back over to 1.5, keep watching it through, we can actually see that there is something sitting in the background there, which could also be uh, perhaps the same palette, and this video is just being taken from a distance away in the exact same area. And it, both videos sort of end with uh, it looking at this overall clearing. There seems to be kind of like a path here uh, where nothing seems to be growing and it seems uh, very well fit for something to walk down to this general area where this is sitting. And um, very similarly, this video ends with um, the path being shown at a much closer range. And I believe this is roughly the same uh, thing that we're seeing um, in this video, just a bit farther away perhaps, or maybe that was moved. Um, but there does seem to be a very, very close correlation between 1.3 and 1.5, suggesting the passing of time. Once again, we're seeing that theme. How this relates to 2.3, uh, where the link of this appeared within, is sort of hard to tell. I mean, there is, of course, that theme of time passing on, and perhaps that's what's trying to be shown here. And uh, since 2.3 kind of dealt with, like, shadows kind of leaving or appearing and the pseudoman kind of losing his power... This kind of backs that up a bit by showing just the grass and everything kind of dying out. It was once very um, green and had a lot to it, very strong, and then it grows kind of weak towards the end of its lifespan. Um, so this is an interesting take on it, considering that Unhinged really didn't like the pseudoman man and what he was going for. Um, but if this is to be taken as like a meaning for the passage of time, it seems rather sad overall that um, you're seeing all these things dead and no longer at the height of their power, if you will. To make matters worse and to further fit into this theme of death, um, we hear the siren in the background. You hear all those sirens kind of appear as the video goes on, um, kind of hinting at like something is definitely wrong here. There seems to be uh, something kind of falling apart. Uh, something is in danger. And uh, whether that danger has already passed, maybe that danger is related to the fact that the pseudomain kind of took over all these shadows' lives, or maybe there's a new danger, which is the reason that Hundegni even exists at all. If that's the case, we don't have enough information on that just yet. Um, this video was uploaded on October 31st of 2015, um, which does place it as being uploaded um, directly after 1.4 came out, you know, uh, which was released, I believe, on Thanksgiving. 
So this was uploaded about when it should have been, but of course it was hidden for us uh, from us for all this time. And I'm glad we finally saw it because there is some interesting correlation here and we're getting this theme of death and the passage of time more and more. So I'm interested to see where it goes. But for now, that's really all that we've found in this video. There's just a really huge correlation between this and 1.3. And I think that's something worth noting. Maybe we'll see more of this. I'm not certain yet, but this is the only location that we've kind of seen carry over. Um, at least to an extent, but when we move on to video 2.4, we'll see that other things are carrying over as well, and a lot of this does need to be noted. But until then, I'm Matt, and thank you guys for watching.